All right, so I am now four-fifths of the way through my first sub-series of Trivial Matters. 20 games down on the Jeopardy! Junior Edition, and now five to go. One more night, maybe two. Okay. Oh, never mind, I'd gotten a message there. We're good here. So, to start out, Greek gods, the solar system, homonyms, currency, invertebrates, and endorsements. <laughs> That's a first for this. Okay. He possessed exceptional strength. It was Hercules. Well, that took care of itself pretty quickly, huh? The greatest warrior among the Greeks at Troy and slayer of Hector. Who was Ares? Now, nah, never mind. I'll ask GB about that later. This young man fell in love with his own image reflected in a pool and was transformed into this flower. Who was Narcissus? Wife of Zeus, she was the Greek queen of heaven. Who was Hera? Fun fact, Hera was also his sister. The ancient Greek goddess of love and beauty. Who was Aphrodite? Well, the daily double's gone, but the illusion's been given that I ran the category anyway. This many planets are in our solar system. Now back then it was accepted as nine with Pluto. Hey NASA, go fuck yourselves. It is known as the Red Planet. What is Mars? Uh, what now? Okay, that can wait. The Earth is in this galaxy. What is the Milky Way? Good candy bar, too. This instrument is used to view stars and planets. What is a telescope? The most famous of which nowadays is the Hubble. This heavenly body has a tail that points away from the sun and is made of ice crystals. What is a comet? The famous one being Halley's Comet. Comes around every 72 years. What the postman delivers. A man. Um, 
What are male and male? Okay, so they do have you identify both. That's how it should be. A male child. It rises in the east. What are sun and sun? There's another way I could do this. I mean, on the show, it's only spoken, right? The opposite of wrong. What you do with a pen. What is right? A main idea and a person who helps run a school. What is principle? A person who inherits what you breathe. What is air? A common unit of weight in the United States. It's also Great Britain's monetary unit. What is the pound? Usually silver, it's the currency of Argentina, Bolivia, Mexico, and many others. What is the peso? Although East and West Germany do not agree on many things, they have this monetary unit in common. What is the mark? Or the Deutschmark? The chief Japanese monetary unit. What is yen? If you're visiting Turkey, you'll need to exchange your dollars for these. I do not know this one. And this is only the second clue on the whole board that I haven't gotten. Best performance thus far. Lyra. An octopus has eight of these long, arm-like extensions. What are tentacles? A floating, stinging fish that looks like a clear blob. What is a jellyfish? Clam and octopus belong to this group of soft-bodied invertebrates. What are mollusks? I never knew the octopus was a part of that category. The largest group of arthropods is made up of these. Not starfish, not sponges.
Lobster, shrimp, and crayfish are examples of these arthropods. What are shellfish? I guess shrimp don't have shells, do they? Well, I can take this so far. I'm the only one who have gotten anything right whatsoever. Until now. Crustaceans. Damn it. First time I've lost control of the board tonight. This ex Dallas redhead advertises Jermac shampoo. Redhead. I could be totally wrong about this, but who is Linda Gray? And if it's not Linda Gray, it's probably Victoria Principal. Charlene Tilton wasn't a redhead. Yeah, Victoria Principal. This golfer uses Pennzoil, according to his commercials. I'm not going to take this shot. Could be Palmer, could be Nicholas. It is Palmer. Doesn't matter, I can't lose the lead. This country western singer bakes with Crisco. Why am I inclined to say Dolly Parton? Loretta Lynn. Next you're going to tell me Chris goes made of coal, right? <laughs> he pushes jello pudding. There's a video I'm going to have to reference after this clue. This former New York Jet quarterback once advertised Aqua Velva. I mean, God, I've proven I've known nothing about celebrity endorsements. <laughs> or if I do, it's delayed knowledge and that don't help me. Joe Namath. Right, so um, <laughs> in, in reference to the Jello pudding thing with Bill Cosby, um, there's a video called something about Star Fox. It's basically a, it's basically an animation kind of parody on Star Fox 64, where during the Macbeth scene with the Forever Train boss. He's got an accent like Bill Cosby's and he's pushing Jello pudding. I had no idea that that was actually related or that that was actually based on a real commercial endorsement. Jesus, props on that one. And real quick, let me pull this up so I can get terminal montage. That's who. Props to you guys for that if you ever see this. That amazing reference that that one with Bill Cosby and the jello pudding got right the fuck by me well done anyway back to business we have begins with a the heart girls names 
equivalent with EQUI in quotes, holidays, and people of the 1980s. This U.S. sprinter won three gold medals and one silver in the 1988 Seoul Olympics. Florence Griffith, Joyner. South Korea that year. There are this many chambers in the heart. What are four? The left and right atria, atrium, and the left and right ventricles. Literally meaning true, this word is usually said after prayers and is also the last word in the Bible. What is amen? This Hawaiian word for love is used as both a greeting and a farewell. What is aloha? Mr. T is a member of this, is a member or this. Whoopsie diddles. What is the A team? Love their theme song. Consisting of a frame and columns of beads, this ancient mechanical calculator is still used in some Asian countries. What is the abacus? <coughs> the stocky, burrowing animal of Africa catches ants and termites with its foot-long, sticky tongue. What's an aardvark? Thick-walled blood vessels that carry blood away from the heart. What are arteries? Surely we'll get the vessels that lead to the heart. Blood vessels that carry blood back to the heart. Sure enough, called it again. What are veins? You can kind of predict when when a near future clue is going to show up. Ha. An upper chamber of the heart. What is an atrium? And the fact that the word and shows up instead of a gave that one dead away. Now watch the next one be a lower chamber of the heart. Yeah, and I'm not going to bother reading that again because I kind of just did verbatim. What is a ventricle? <coughs> this feminine name is also the name of a flower most often red, but also pink, white, or yellow. What is a rose? Rose by any other name, which smells so sweet. <clears throat> Excuse me, not to get all Shakespearean on you folks. This first bird of spring is a popular girl's name. What is a robin? And sure enough, one of my best friends is actually named Robin, and she is a girl. The title of one of Da Vinci's most famous paintings. Hmm. I'm going to have to think on this one a sec, unless I've just run out of time. 
which I have. What do we got? The oh fuck! I forgot he wrote he painted that. The Mona Lisa. Ugh. The airplane that dropped the bomb over Hiroshima. My brother might know this. He studied World War II history pretty, uh, pretty closely. The Enola Gay. The net worth of a property or business. What is equity? It's a term I've heard tossed around enough. Of or resembling a horse. What is equine? To furnish or provide with whatever is needed. Um, what's the word this time? Equi oh, God, I didn't think simply enough. Equip. The state of balance due to the equal action of opposing forces. Oh, I know it. What is equilibrium? When night and day are of equal lengths in all places of the world. <clears throat> Pardon me. Uh, does that ever actually happen? Oh, the equinox. Spring and autumn. The first Monday in September. What is Labor Day? I might squeeze a six-figure game out of this yet, but I need the other daily double. December 25th. What is Christmas? The last Monday in May. What is Memorial Day? It's always the fourth Thursday in November. What is Thanksgiving? The Sunday after Palm Sunday. What is Easter? One category left. I really hope it's here. The star of Top Gun and Risky Business was chosen as the top hero of young Americans in 1988. Who is Tom Cruise? Maverick. This household appliance is also the nickname of the Chicago Bears 308 pound defensive lineman, William Perry. What would you call somebody like that? 
Oh, the refrigerator. You know what, I do recall hearing that somewhere. That may very well have cost me the daily double. This jailed black leader is known for his fight against apartheid in South Africa. All I'm familiar with about that, honestly, is Paul Simon's album. Mandela. I believe he was since released. He's dead now. And I'm not getting a six-figure game. I'm quite certain of that now. Only the Lonely and Pretty Woman were hits, in the 60s, were hits by the 60s singer who died from a heart attack in 1988. thinking about the song in the film Pretty Woman, but I can't think of who did it. And if I don't figure it out, I'm guaranteed to miss out on the other Daily Double. Which is a shame because I was on such a hot roll in the first round. Roy Orbison. Same guy who sang You Got It, I believe. In 1988, she became TV's highest rated daytime talk show host. Who is Oprah? Well, it won't be six figures. The periodic table. This type of element appears on the left side of the periodic table. Oh, sh shit show. What is hydrogen? <sighs> Sodium's under this too. They're not soft metals. They can't be. Can they? I gotta try it. I, even, I know for a fact this is wrong, so go ahead and yell at me, but what are soft metals? What are they? How... What? Fucking what? Is precedent on the show that you're ruled incorrect because of giving too much information and too much information such that the answer becomes wrong so by saying soft metals I would probably have screwed the pooch on the show too so I'm not gonna get too mad about that one but in any event let's do more four left sit tight 